All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we ended on this slide in the last screencast. I'm going to have you on your study guide start on this slide, understand how we're going to write out the alleles for working a sex linked problem um, in regard to dominance and recessive, carrier, non carrier. So you will, will want to reference this slide and then you want to try to complete this problem. Okay, all right, see if you get the same results that I did. Um, and then after that, you can have some fun and check out this colorblind slide on your own, please. Uh, once you've done all that, we are ready to, in our study guides, click on our final portion, which is a genealogy table, also known as a pedigree chart, which I am sure you've all heard of before. So we're going to start right here today in this last screencast for this unit, and then we are done. All right, so genealogy tables or pedigrees. I'm sure you've all seen these before. A pedigree chart just shows relationships within a family. Uh, squares represent males, circles females. A shaded circle indicates that that person has a given trait, a characteristic. Whatever we're looking at in the pedigree, the shaded individuals have that phenotype. So the phenotype we'll look at in this one, in our examples, um, we're going to look at three generations of guinea pigs. So one generation here, two generations here, and then here's our third generation down here. Uh, guinea pigs with a rough coat are going to be capital R, and rough coat is going to be dominant over smooth coat, lowercase r. So shaded individuals in this table have a smooth coat. What is the genotype of each individual in that table? So you want to start out, if we know, let me just move my screen down here. If we know that um, the shaded individuals have a recessive phenotype, we know that their genotype has to be two recessive alleles, right? Or else they couldn't express that recessive phenotype. So from here, we start with our recessive individuals, our, our ones that have the phenotype. We get their genotypes written down. And from there, we can make assumptions along the way of filling out this pedigree. Okay, and if you have any questions about this, please, please, please reach out to me. And we will talk about this in class just a little bit. So you'll get more than just this screencast um, in first impression. All right, now let's look at our own example following color blindness. So the following pedigree table of course for color blindness. This is a sex linked trait. Uh, shaded individuals have color blindness. And then we want to determine the genotypes of the following family members. So again, this is sex linked though. So we're going to have to use X and Y chromosomes and we're going to have to put the uh, trait we're looking at as a superscript on top of those. All right. So here's our example. So this is a male, right? X and Y chromosome, and he is colorblind, so he has the little C up here. Another male, same phenotype. Another male, same phenotype. Now remember, males, gentlemen, we only need one recessive allele for a sex-linked disorder that is a recessive disorder, right? Because we only have the one X chromosome. And this woman down here uh, also has colorblindness, uh, and she has two X C, X, C. She needs two copies of the recessive allele. And from here, once again, we can just make inferences about the family members. Now we know all the non-shaded males, they have to have X, big C, Y, because we, again, guys, we only get one shot at these X linked or sex linked disorders. So we can't be carriers. So if we don't have colorblindness, we're not carrying colorblindness because we have a dominant allele on our only X chromosome. So we can write in the males. Then it's the females we have to figure out from there. And you see these ones could be either of these, right? We're not sure if they're heterozygous or homozygous, right? Because we can't exactly tell because we don't have enough data. We don't have any more family members. These uh, offspring don't have any children to tell us more about their genotypes and what have you. All right, folks, and that is genetics in a nutshell. See you in the next one.